Let me just play this video first and then I'll break down what the heck is happening. I feel so bad for That's how I feel so bad for all right, let me replay that real quick. Look at the beast. This man getting straight beats. He getting hammers. Hammers to the face. Hammers to the face. Now, if you don't know what the heck is happening in this uh, clip, this is coming from Twitter. And apparently a fight broke out at Five Nights of Freddy. I put this in just to uh, set the tone of what the film is. Apparently, if you're not into the loop, Five Nights of Freddy is not the greatest film of this year. Shocker, right? You should have knew when it was on Peacock that <laughs> it ain't going to do so well. All right, Peacock ain't made a good film in I don't know how long. Now, if you don't know what Peacock is, that's, uh, I believe, NBC uh, streaming platform. But here's a couple of tidbits of what... To be expected from Five Nights at Freddy. This is coming from Renny Wise, Ren Geekness on Twitter. He said, Five Nights at Freddy is nothing but dull, uninspired collection of lame jump scares collaged together in a thin plot. Cool setting, cooler practical animatronics, but zero atmosphere. I hope fans have a better time than I did. Watchable enough, but utterly forgettable. All right? Theo. Theo Fisher 82 from Twitter says, Friday Night Freddy might be the most uneven film of the year. Almost absolutely nothing like it was sold. Going off and tangent at every turn and barely coming together at the end. What should probably have been a simple horror tale is made into a convoluted PG-13 film. Dang. I don't even know what this means, but he said star point five. So I don't even think that thing got a point. He said half a point. I don't even know what the scale is, but to, to give you a, a, a better taste in your mouth before we get into the breakdown, this person said, I give Five Nights at Freddy a seven out of 10. I really enjoyed it, but it does have a few flaws. It's very well written at parts, but sometimes not so much. Great acting and on all parts and all honesty, I think you're only going to like it a lot if you're a fan of the franchise. Yes, I'm biased. Then I, I called it, y'all. Five Nights at Freddy's was like a independent-esque film for that cult culture that have been following Five Nights at Freddy for all these years. Uh, this is their opportunity to rejuvenate the fan base, but the story itself is not really there. Like, it's Chuck E. Cheese Horror Edition. Now, I do think there was a world where they could have created this to be a Netflix original series, drag it out, go more in depth with everything, put a little bit more story into Five Nights at Freddy than just like an hour and 30 or two hour film. Uh, we are in the middle of the sh Hollywood strike, writer strike, so it could have been points of the movie that was supposed to be reshot, but since Peacock is trash and they didn't want to like sign a deal that uh, WGA and SAG Alpha was trying to get them signed, they was like, you know what, we got enough of a good film. We have a heck of a marketing team. I mean, we are the big cable industry like, we can make them look like, we can make the film look like it's something to look at, which is what they did. Now, will I be watching it? For sure. However, I'm not going to the movies to watch this. I don't even think this is uh, the level of quality film to go to the movies. If you did not know, put Peacock, the app. We'll be streaming this, and I know you and me both are in the same boat. We never even download Peacock. So guess what that means? You have a free subscription. So we have a free movie here by Enway in the next two days. That's really what they wanted in the first place. Like they knew, yeah, you might not go see it in the theaters, but you'll at least use the free subscription to see this movie and possibly stick around on the streaming platform. That's the new game 
um, these days when it comes to uh, these streaming esque movies. They really want you on the platform. But that was a pretty good little breakdown. Let me see this man get the beats one more time. I'm sorry. I'm not a violent individual, but it's something funny about uh, fighting in the movie theaters. Like you clearly waited for that credits to get you, <laughs> to get your uh, fight in. I want to know what the heck he did to make those people so angry. Look at the swings. He, they're doing big swings. And his friends are holding the light up so the guy don't miss a, the guy don't miss a god dog on tech target. You know what I'm saying? They really want to attack him. Now, I don't know about uh, movie theater etiquette, but for sure, don't sit in the front of the theater. Like I typically sit in the middle so I can really get the best visuals. I know a lot of people like to sit in the back. Actually, comment down below. Tell me what you would like to sit in the theater. I would never sit in the front row. That's just something that's not uh, for me. Let's see in these. Let me uh, read these replies. Ah, man, Twitter blocked. No, what are you waiting for? Do, do it. it. Make your dreams Don't come true. Dreams Just dreams. do it.